Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Heather. Today I'm going to explain you how you can make this boring looking diagram into a more attractive diagram. You just have to use simple tools as I explained in my previous video. So first of all, I'm going to start with uh, taking a square and I'm going to, uh, not a square but a rectangle. Then I'm going to make, copy that rectangle and make other small shape to make a small lid. Uh, so another one uh, I will use at the background. So it shows that how does the reactor looks actually. Uh, this one, the one I used previously was looking at jacket. And this rectangle now I'm using to show the inside of the reactor what's going on inside of the reactor later on when i will fill in the color then you will easily see what's going on in the reactor so now i'm going to mimic and draw everything uh, slowly uh, slowly and simply so as you can see there are three uh, three uh, outputs which, which one is a gas sampling the other one is a vent to fume hood and the other one is a water outlet so i'm just making a small valve as you can see on the right side of the picture and now i'm going to make uh, one valve and copy this as a picture because I'm going to use this again and again in different parts of the diagram. So once I have copied it, so I'm going to replace this uh, this valve again and again, and simply I'm going to go proceed whenever I need it. So once you make an image, you can also keep it as a small uh, small icon and you can use it again and again in your diagrams. So now you can see I made a small block as shown in the picture on the right hand side. Uh, right hand side, yes, I'm gonna make uh, another line and now in similar way, I just uh, finished the first three outputs of my reactor. Now I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna just align them properly and also make space for the other diagrams, for so other other lines and other uh, uh, like process inputs and outputs. And also I'm gonna make auxiliaries and uh, for example. Uh, the pressure gauge which is on the right hand side as you can see it's not too difficult so now I'm making a pressure transmitter as you can see this is a signal so I'm just making a dotted line so that can be more I can uh, emphasize a bit more so uh, I'm just using simple uh, simple shapes like the rectangle block and the circle so now I'm gonna make draw a, a simple pressure gauge Drawing a pressure is not too too difficult. So what you have to do is just take a small uh, circle and then zoom in a little bit. Take a small lines and then in order to draw the gauge, uh, like the numbering of the gauge, you can just use a small small lines and then group them together and place them one by one. Uh, it's difficult to make them in a circle, so I just find an easy way to copy, make them two in a group, and then copy them with a little bit dif uh, distance. So you can just copy them by replacing them and also uh, moving them from one point to another. So now I'm just making a small, um, a small gauge, and this gauge can show. I just can give an idea that it is a gauge, and if from if you look at it from a distance, you can know that okay, this is a pressure gauge and it's showing something. So you don't have to be too detailed because this is going to look so small at the end then you don't have to it will almost look more beautiful so I'm just not just drawing a needle in it so that it can show the value for pressure gauge not exactly very well just an analog so you can see there how does it look so now you get, from a far distance you can see it looks more beautiful now I'm going to group it and keep it as a icon and I'm going to use it in the other part of the picture as you can see in the right hand side in the cylinders now I just made this icon and now I'm going to move to the next section which is the motor or the driver of the uh, driver in the reactor which is going to which, which drives the re which drives the stator inside the reactor I'm going to draw the motor like this and I'm going to place a small this one which is shoot to show or make uh, this driver a li little bit more attractive later I'm going to fill in the colors and it will look more better in the end so now I'm just simply uh, doing what I'm doing is just uh, adding whatever they have in the reactor and just uh, putting it that in that way. So now I'm just adding a PRV pressure release valve and now I'm going to work on the coil which is that the water comes in and the water goes out. I just showed that the water will come in as a cool cool uh, cool water and when it goes out it's almost hot. So now I'm what I'm going to do is I just I'm going to make a I'm just making a coil for the water inlet and outlet. As you can see it comes from the top and goes out goes in the coil and goes out and then what are we gonna do is we are gonna make a stator. So just use a small uh, straight line and just use a small icon as I showed you where to that take, uh, took from in the icon set. You can make them small so that they don't look too big according to the size of the reactor. And you can change the color and make it look like this. Later on moving further, I'm just gonna just a little bit slight adjustment so that I can see that things are looking good or not. So whenever you make something, just uh, uh, get a uh, get a overlook now or I mean like just give a uh, check it how is the, the how is the diagram looking from a far point of it because when you are too inside the diagram you cannot notice what's the difference and how does it how is it looking right now so just making small details which are in the in the diagram so that they can be more realistic and can look more more like a more 
I don't want your uh, you don't want your diagram to be too empty or to have too much em empty spaces. So you need to make it as much com as much uh, complicated looking, but also meanwhile also looking interesting, not too boring. So that's that's the point in making these diagrams. So as you can see, I'm just using simple tools, lines, and increasing the width of the line making. Now you can already see that the look of the reactor looks is so nice. Now this is just without the colors. So when I'm gonna add the colors, it will look more interesting. So. You don't have to think that like this diagram is difficult but you only need to have a small sketch you need to make a small sketch or outline of the reactor that you are making and later on when you have a fun when you have rough draft then you can make this draft more more uh, uh, exciting more exciting or more colorful whatever you like because once you add the colors the the theme or the image completely uh, differs from the one that you started so now you see as i made this icon before so i'm just going to use this icon again and again at different places and that's how i'm going to work with it now you see uh, making a ball bath so you can see that just take a small circle and put it in the center of it and it does the purpose so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make small uh, sm this pipette the liquid slurry is charging pipette so i'm just going to make this one using small icon sets in the insert section so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make a small section and then I'm going to add the numbers. So as you can see the how I'm going to add numbers, there are two different ways. Either you can do it manually or you can just select all these and copy one by one and paste it at different intervals. So now once you have a big set, then you can copy and then paste. One way to align them together is just <laughs> doing manually one by one. First I was doing like this, but it wasn't looking good. So I was trying to do manually. Then I remember that there is another tool that you can do. Another way you can do is that you select all of them, then go in the range in the home button and then you can easily do it right now I will just uh, later on I will just show you how to do it easily so now you just select it go in the right section and align to left or right as whatever you want so now you can see there's a great symmetry between them so now this is my main pivot it looks too big so I'm gonna use it as a picture so that I can adjust in the space I have so now I'm gonna add most of the work is done everything is done I'm just gonna use a simple icons that I made in the start I'm gonna use them again and again to put them because there are a lot of valves now in the diagram so I'm gonna use those valves in the figure by just copying and uh, cop copying and pasting so now the major thing uh, is done the small part which includes this that we have to work on the cylinders which is the nitrogen and oxygen uh, for purging so we are gonna use those one those cylinders and we're gonna make a small diagram and now I'm just adding small valves uh, which we which I need to add on the pipeline so you can see that now I'm making the air vent so air vent is pretty much simple you just need to copy we just need to make a small uh, uh, diagram so now I'm just using small lines to make that uh, look much more uh, uh, better so now most of the part is done the reactor is done the main part that will come is when we are going to color and put some colors inside so now these lines or do not look exactly as a pipe or something they do not give any impression so i'm gonna make them look like that they give some impression by changing the shadows or by changing their edges or curves it's not too difficult to do it now you see that once you have one icon set and you can just copy and paste it what i do is i make an icon and group them as a as a one image and then i just use them again and again one problem is that when you use an image as a as a picture you cannot change the color but you can change the size so in this one i'm just using the same uh same uh icon as a object but i'm not using as a picture but at places where i need i do make them as a picture because i need to decrease the size or all that if i do it manually it takes a lot of time so that's why i already made this ones uh, and then did like this so now it's just uh, pretty much simple so i'm just doing the simple step connecting the lines adding the valves it's simple most of the thing you don't have to worry about you can skip this part and go go into a little bit further in this video where you can watch how i do the pipelines how do you change the color of the pipeline this is a basic step so i'm just ma making it uh so that for those who are new who they can understand how to do it but for those who already know how to do these kind of simple things uh, it's really easy for them they may skip to the next part and also can watch at what's going on in the later part so now i'm working on the cylinders now i'm just adding cylinders and making so one easy way is that you make one and then copy and paste for another one so that's another way one is that you make one image and then copy and then rotate that image into another image which is like you make a flip that image into the right side then you can have the same image on the other another side i might show in this video that how i did it but actually i used a i just copied and pasted it so that's why i might not be able to show you in this one but i'm going to show you this this how to do this in the next video or in an upcoming videos sooner or later 
so the purpose behind these videos is that you can increase the quality of your work or you can increase the worth of your work by simply making diagrams or simply making your graphics more interesting and more attractive looking if your manuscript if, if your work is really great and you did a really great job but if you didn't present it well it doesn't matter it doesn't matter much so what you have to do is that you need to present your work in better way they say it doesn't matter what you say but it does matter that how you say it so it really matters that what you do and you need to portray that thing in a really uh, good way so now what i'm going to do is that i'm just adding simple diagrams and I'm just speaking because i need to cover this video and i need to speak because i'm just doing trying to do in one take so i cannot stop it so that's why i'm speaking as you can see now everything is mostly done so i'm just gonna remove the uh, see one more time what i'm gonna do is that what uh, it needs an extra part or something small minor changes slight bit adjustment so that it can have a good look now on the far uh, if i look on from the uh, zoom out position now i'm gonna clear everything out i'm gonna write the text i'm gonna add the text and i'm gonna uh, see the diagram one more time and then i will see which places need improvement or which places need some light and more adjustment right now it looks quite boring similar to the similar to the uh, graph that i showed before i can make it more beautiful how i will show you one by one now i'm just adding text and color so i'm just adding text color and changing the line depending upon which stream it is so if it is water make it water if it is, is hot water cold water you can do it now i'm adding a gradient in the line which can show that the water is turning hot from the top to the bottom as you can see i'm adding gradient that means my pipeline has cold water now it's turning into hot water so this is one way to show we use gradient to show how how the water changes color from one form to another so i'm just adding uh, changing these ones into uh, same color as the pipeline for just to make it a little bit more interesting and more exciting so now i'm just adding changing the colors which i want and accidentally change the color to the green one which i needed to change in the yellow one so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna change them again back to the yellow the same original color as a tank so yellow didn't look much better so i just changed to another orange dark orange color so i'm just adding uh, these colors uh, slight adjustments to see what i can do uh, now i'm gonna go to the another part which is uh, looking what other colors i can add to the other pictures or other places now i'm gonna add the inside reactor what is going on inside of the reactor i'm gonna bring these things in the front and send the picture background and i'm gonna change this uh, liquid into a gradient which shows that the water is or the product is hot at the bottom and light bit and the temperature is a little bit different in the top so that shows a gradient how the temperature changes in the inside of the reactor so now pretty much the reactor is done uh now i'm gonna work on the pipelines so the pipeline needs some slight adjustment i'm gonna change these and change the shape effect into more edge one i'm gonna give them a bend and b level i'm gonna make them into the b level in the last image now you see that these pipes were really simple lines now they with the effect of the shadow they look like a pipeline so i'm gonna repeat this step for other ones also in order to save time i'm just gonna skip it for after some time as you can see that i'm changing colors uh, black doesn't show enough so i change the color into a bit uh, of a gray color so that it can be more prominent there are a lot of things a lot of pipes to do so uh, i think i'm gonna skip this in the middle part so that you don't have to watch a lot and you don't have to watch the same step again and again so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna do it for you i'm now coloring in the reactor i'm changing the color of the reactor so that it looks like a more metallic touch because reactors are normally stainless steel and they look more uh, beautiful with a different color I'm going to add now text to the file so I'm just going to play paste in a separate file and I'm going to add the text in the file so whatever it needs text I'm going to make it uh, in a caps lock and make it bold and and make it capital letter so I'm going to add the text where it is needed after adding the text in the main diagram I'm going to copy this uh, image again and I will paste it as an image and then we'll work on the other part so now it's just an image so I want to make it a graphic abstract so what I can do is that I can copy this image as a picture and then I'm gonna add a background to this using a gradient color so that it can uh, give a special look for the picture actually I did this diagram twice or thrice because my screen uh, recorder didn't work out at given error uh, after I made the whole diagram so actually I had two different designs so I will show you how it looks this is my second design i also made a fourth design i'm gonna add some pictures in this so that you can see the difference between the fourth and second one 
all they took a lot of time but I, I hope this thing helps you out and also helps you in figuring out how to make it for your diagrams so now the uh, thing is done i'm gonna add a gradient to the background color and see how it looks uh, i'm gonna add different variations so that you can see how it looks in different color and you can choose depending upon your own choice i'm adding different gradients so that you can see it looks better in which color so again like i told you the color choice is your own you can change the color whatever you like these colors are not looking good because I was trying to see if the red looks good or not. So I'm going to delete this one anyway. So this is the before and after look for the diagram. I hope you guys like the video. I'm just, just showing you a different variation which you can do. So these are the diagrams that I made in the really start when the first time I was recording for this diagram. But I couldn't record because there was some glitch in the screen recorder. So guys, I hope you guys like the video. And I'm just showing you different variations in the diagram so that you can see you can understand how you can play with the colors and how you can play with the diagram to make them more look beautiful one more uh, tip for this uh, graphic abstract is that you can add a text box in the end in the small bottom so that you can explain what uh, is happening in your diagram and also you can explain how you can do it please do like the video leave your comments down in the section below share with and with your friends so that they can also learn and till then take care Allah Hafiz see you in the next video